The Hype Podcast, episode 2116. Remember, don't leave your shit out in public. Or your car keys either. Have you ever seen someone go from presidential to gangster? All in one moment? Speaking of gangster, you ever thought you'd have to wear a vest to a baseball game? The Hype Podcast starts right now. I mean right motherfucking now. Right now. Right now! Catch my mugshot, bitch. (laughs) Pew, 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 pew. Hey, <laughs> so I just want to say before I go any further, oh fuck, or get any closer to you, that the, you're gay. No, that the word spook is not okay. <laughs> no, hang on, hang on. We gotta, we're gonna hash this out right now. What, that saying spook is okay? No. Spook means CIA agent. That's what they call him. No, that's a because that's, that's a derogatory term for uh, African Americans. <laughs> I, I, so, I didn't know you didn't know that. No, I I did know that. But uh, but no, uh, here's, uh, here's what I I uh, have questions. Uh, do you have a do you have a couple uh, jigaboos and darkies to call me <laughs> no, to? No, that's that was my question. Okay. Right, if you Obviously, we have we have the obvious one. Bojangles starts with an N. Okay. We have the one that starts with a J, Jigaboo. Like what? Wow. What is that? You really said that? Yeah. What? Like what is that? What? What does that come from? I don't even know what it comes from. You don't let me look up shit during the show, so you just let's just start. You don't know. I, you don't know I, how. To, I, listen, I, don't, I, don't, I didn't need to look up Darky to know what it meant. I didn't need to look up Spook to know what it meant. Because it was, because you've heard them use this. No, before. because I watched Scooby Doo and I know what spooky shit looks like. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That was lame. Your fucking mom's lame. And don't tell her I said that because I don't want her to come see me. Oh, my mom does perfectly fine. She's in her 70s. So there's nothing lame about her. You don't say that about a 70-year-old mom. Yeah. You say that shit about my mom all the time. I didn't say she's lame. <laughs> oh, you say she get laid. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Hype Podcast. I'm the host of her name. I'm also fresh and neither of our mothers are mentally disabled. They still got some dip in their head and they don't be cripping. My name is... Oh so fresh, I'll say it again. And I want you to tell them the number so they can reach out and talk to Oh So Fresh. When I dip, you dip, we dip. You can dip. 503-776-0167. Oh so might just give you the tip, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Welcome back this week. I, I, we, hey, I might have beat your daddy to the porch. We, 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 any wow, of you, wow, wow. Any of you. Any <laughs> of you. <laughs> wow. Wow. You got mad at me for saying the uh J Boo word and the darky word, and now you're talking about uh <clears throat> porches. Uh, what? Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you want to say you want to? Would you like to be a porch monkey today? <laughs> I, I I know. I, you know what? I I never. I haven't spent any time in the south because I know there's probably about twenty more I have to come up with. But I, I mean, was gonna ask you to go through all of them, but I um, won't. I won't because no, we're live. I, no, I I, I, I don't want to humiliate the cracker, <laughs> the pecker wood. <laughs> I would li- I would like you to, but if you want to see oh so humiliate the crackers, hit us up. Donate to our Patreon, patreon.com you, forward you slash the high to podcast. Our, you should really donate because, bitch, I'm broke. <laughs> I'm broke as fuck. <laughs> He's only broke because he spends all his money on my mother. But we do have a great show for you today. We have an interesting show, and I have questions. <laughs> I have and questions, and I spent all my babies in it. <laughs> I have I have questions for you and I have questions for you. Amazing, you just let that ride. Can can Chicago? Well, because I have weirder questions than what you just said. Can Chicago get any worse? First of all, no. Yeah. Can Donald Trump get any cooler? And how fucking stupid do people get at the gym? That's that's what we're gonna go over today. And I want I'm gonna start right now. Kill the music. Kill the fucking music. What is the number one rule? Now you might not know this, but you uh, folks out there, you might I, know. I, this. I might not know. But it's the same as the club. What is the number one rule with your personal belongings? Whether you're at the club, you're at the gym, or you're in prison. Keep them in your pants. Keep them in your fucking pants. You don't set your shit down at the club, in prison, or at the gym. And all places you don't reach for the soap either. (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) See, life advice from the Hype Podcast. And I know what you're wondering. I'm going to derail us real quick. I know what you're wondering. What, are you what is going on with this fucking hair? Where am I? Oh, where am I? I don't even know where I am. 
What is going on with this hair? Nobody knows. Okay. You, 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 you've you had a man bun before. so That's nothing, true. <laughs> now, on the show, yeah. I think so, yeah. Yeah. So they might have been curious was, to know if I was know, fucking drunk or what. That was the closest you've ever been to taking it up the ass with that man bun. No, not at all, actually. You've I was closer to that? No, no, no. That was, <laughs> okay. that was the closest I've ever been to giving it. Like, because that was like some man shit going oh, on. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna fuck you in the ass, boy. Now I got a man bun. <laughs> yeah, right. I got a man bun. <laughs> <laughs> that's actually that's actually how the hair sounded. I'm not Jerry Rice. I'm Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> <laughs> if the hair had a voice, that's how it would sound. Or, <laughs> or what's that? What's that fucker's name? Justin Love. I don't. The, the Green Bay Packers quarterback. Oh, is he the new quarterback? She's, yeah. Oh, I don't know. Anybody yeah. with the last name Love, you're not gonna be successful. <laughs> I don't know, man. There's, there's this chick at my work named Montana Love. She sounds like a fucking porn star. I'll bet you she could be successful on OnlyFans. Because that's her real name. That's all I'm saying. Like, and what level of success in life is a, a good OnlyFans account? I mean, <laughs> millions and millions of dollars success. That but, is true. That is true. So, back to my fucking gym I mean, story. I could pull mine out right now. You could be my OnlyFans. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm at the gym yesterday. And I'm fucking getting ready to leave. And all of a sudden, three cops walk in. Three. Yeah, and I'm like, and I'm like, what did I do? Like, I'm, I'm thinking back. Like, did I do some fucked up shit today? I wasn't steering that hard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Because yeah. you know, and the bitch about the fucking gym. You stare at a bitch too fucking hard. Next thing you know, you got a charge. Yeah. Okay. I was. You, just, you can't I, talk about the gym. You haven't been to the gym in over two decades. Okay. I've been to the gym. Wh- when? Not recently. <laughs> exactly. I got a home gym. <laughs> that is true. You do. My name is Jim, and I got a home. Your name is Jimmy Pedals, and you got a bike. <laughs> Most of those motherfuckers in the gym don't have homes. <laughs> <Get the fuck laughs> out. That's actually semi-true. I knew, I knew a homeless guy that went to the gym every day when I worked at 24 Hour Fitness. He went every day to shower and work out. This ain't homeless guy that masturbates at the library, right? Uh, well, I mean, I don't know. He, I mean, he was black, so I wouldn't the put rest, him past The rest of the day. So, yeah, he spends his other eight hours <laughs> masturbating in public libraries. Hey, but that pimp hand is strong. <laughs> yeah. So... I'm at the gym, and three fucking cops walk in. So I'm thinking, like, something serious happened, right? And it was serious, but, like, not serious enough for three fucking cops. So these two girls are standing there, and I'm like, maybe somebody got assaulted. You know what I mean? And I walk by, and I... I, I hate to be just just a misogynist like this, but was either of them worth assaulting? Uh, they were both underage, so no. Okay, but- that's, that's <laughs> way off limits. <laughs> Yeah. And I'm not saying the quality of how you look, ladies, it makes you more and more worth assaulting. Or you, I, I am. Make you, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Fuck that. I mean, no. I, mean I, I mean, you could look down the way in the gym and be like, I'll catch a charge for that. No. <laughs> I'd do a couple. Jokingly. Absolutely. Joking, yeah. Jokingly. <laughs> ask, I we never, hope you're laughing right you now. You heard I never go to the gym, so no need to be in danger. Yeah. Continue with <laughs> your story, sir. No, I'm sorry. Just w- one little caveat to that as well. I fucking hate, like, the bane of my existence is when the ugliest people, men and women, ugly, fucking fat, out of shape, are like, my body, my choice, you're not going to fucking assault me. Bitch, nobody's trying to assault you. No, I was None just, of you. I was just trying to slap you out the way to grab the Johnny's. <laughs> yeah, right? yeah. Like, <laughs> I was going to assault you to get the last piece of fucking chicken. Yeah. That's what I assault yeah. you for. Because the last time you was here, you finished the bucket, ho. Yeah. Like, you look like a 300-pound NFL lineman. Nobody is trying to assault you, bitch. Come on. They're afraid of you. Get get over yourself. So Harambe. Yeah, Harambe. Harambe looking bitch. <laughs> so they're talking to these girls, and so I walk up to the front desk lady, and I'm like, I'm like, yo, are you causing trouble over here? And she's like, nah, poor girl got her car stolen. And the front desk lady is like mom age. She's like a 50-year-old lady, so she's really feeling yeah. for these girls. And she's like, yeah. She set her keys down, and somebody drove off in her car. And, like, inside, I'm dying laughing because I'm like, did no, bitch, did your mom never tell you the rules? Like, you don't set your shit down anywhere. Come on. This is America. You keep that shit in your pants. Right. Put it in a backpack. Keep it with you. Lock it up somewhere. What the fuck is the matter with you? Now, hold on. You're at the gym. It should be pretty easy to figure it out unless it's Planet Fitness because they don't broadcast your ugly. <laughs> No, it is Planet Fitness. You go to Planet Fitness, and where you can't call people, you can't call people fat there. Yeah, well, you can now because it's a, it's offensive to tell me what I can and can't say. So, <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the see the fucked up thing is is in the agreement 
they have a clause that says they are allowed to film the gym floor yeah. to to help protect their members, and they do. They have cameras all over that place. And I bet they got a room with one chair. Yeah, right. <laughs> and it's very sticky. And you can watch all the cameras. Right. You yeah. Want. So, hey. so they're sitting there. Whoa! Oh my God! Is he back? Is he back from hiatus? I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> I thought Diesel Fresh was home from vacation. I, I, I don't know. I was just thinking about what it'd be like in my one room chair, <laughs> one one chair room in the gym. Uh, you would you would like the gym? I like you, the gym. you really would. You would, in a, from a chair perspective. Okay. You, yeah, you wouldn't be in there like walking on a treadmill, being like, "Yeah, this is the shit." Bitch, I go to the gym. I know what to do. Yeah, right. I mean, I just stand there like I don't know what to do. I work out all the time. If I knew what to do, there is no instruction manual. They'd be like, yo, if you this kind of fucked up, do five of these, five of these, five of these, hit the showers and go home. They give you no fucking instructions. You have to pay extra for somebody to teach you how to use the fucking gym. That is true. But that, that's a gimmick, dude. Like all their fucking, all their machines, they only do one motion. So you fucking know exactly what that motion does. How many am I supposed to do? All of them until you can't do anymore. That's okay. It. Yeah, that's it. Then, then I'll go to work. Yeah, exactly. And then you won't even be able to type. I can, I can just stay out drinking all night and get the same effect. <laughs> <laughs> that's so true. No, but I felt I felt kind of bad. I'm like, I'm like, man, somebody ought to tell these bitches. Like, now, now they understand. Like, don't set man, my shit down at the gym. They are underage. Are you really calling them bitches? I am calling them. You, bitches. you call them itches. I'm calling. I mean, just <laughs> PG. Just itches. No, listen. I mean, that's why I couldn't use the. I couldn't go. I couldn't go diesel fresh. We're talking about young hoes. Listen, if somebody's gonna call them dumb bitches, it might as well be me. Like, I am the perfect candidate with me and my white privilege to call them dumb bitches. Okay. <laughs> You keep, you, you keep getting older and they just stay the same age. <laughs> they just that. stay the same level of stupid. <laughs> Grass on the field, play ball. <laughs> I, I am not fucking Joe Biden, okay? And the way and the way presidents are getting indicted nowadays, you're, I'm you're, not fucking you're around. You're the only one that's not fucking Joe Biden right now. <laughs> that's when I said Joe Biden, not Joe Biden. I know what you were thinking. I don't fuck Joe Biden. You wouldn't? I'm, Seriously? I'm thinking. That's, I'd, rather, that, I'd, I'd rather go for that big black widow looking bitch. That is the first <laughs> white woman I have ever heard you say that you would not have sex with. There's a lot of white women I've never brought up in conversation before. <laughs> <laughs> so there's, there's plenty I would hang not on, have hang sex on, with. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I got a few off the top. Roseanne Barr. Roseanne Barr, nope. Celine Dion. Yeah, my heart will go on and on and on and on. I'm king of the world! <laughs> <laughs> it's all coming back to me now or it's all coming on your back right now <laughs> touch me like this and you touch me like that Barbara Dude. Bush Barbara Bush yeah no not Barbara Bush Hillary Clinton no no never no, I mean, I've, I've, I've tried I've tried to drink it to the bitch look good <laughs> no it just doesn't work there's something about that pantsuit connection that's not fucking working <laughs> Just not doing it for you. No, it just doesn't work. And I, I mean, I, I've, <laughs> I've lived a life. This was <laughs> shit my life. Sybil Shepherd. Oh, back in the day? Hell yeah. Back in the day? Yeah. What do you mean? I'm moonlighting? Okay. Yeah. Okay. That back in the day. I yeah. was like, I was like, there's a lot of back in the You could go 10 years ago. You could go 20 yeah, years ago. No. no. I mean, that's like Christy Alley. Yeah, back in the day. Okay. Let me... Let, let me give you, I'm going to give you one or two more. Like Marilyn Monroe, it would not be very fuckable <laughs> now, but back in the day. <laughs> I, damn it. I was just going to say, Madonna then or now? Oh, Madonna back then. Not now? Not now. I mean, not now. I don't know. I, for, this, for her skill level? Yeah. I mean, because, hey, sometimes. <laughs> said for her skill level? <laughs> sometimes you just want to fuck a bitch with a strong skill set. <laughs> You know, I mean, you don't always hire the the the, good, the best looking plumber. You hire the one that can handle your pipe, <laughs> and, uh, and it will it will get the fuck out when you drop the drain all up in their shit. Oh my fucking god! He said, "When well, get the fuck out when you drop the drain in the <laughs> Barbara Walters. Uh, back in the day, yeah. Joan Rivers. Joan Rivers? Nah, not really. No. Nah. Okay. She didn't really did for me. Okay. Here's 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 the fucking encore. Huh. Suzanne Summers. Suzanne Summers? Wow. I mean, probably up until like the last 10 years. Seriously? Suzanne Summers? Yes. Damn. Yeah. yeah. I've always been a big Suzanne I mean, Summers I mean, fan. Yeah, give it to me, Chrissy. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> and what was that show? Step uh step by step or something where she Yeah. Yeah. Step by step? Yeah. That's 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 when I figure out what a fucking milf was. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the bitch told me three's company too? <laughs> Shit. Patrick Duffy, get the fuck out the way. Okay. Here here's fucking the golden challenge round and last one. I, no, 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 last one, I promise. Which one of the Golden Girls? And you have to pick one. Uh, uh, Blanche. For real? Bang the shit out of Blanche. Oh, shit. Bang the shit out of Blanche. You heard it here first, right? That that is skill set. I love how you had that shit chambered, Uh, too. You've been thinking about this for days. I've been thinking about it for decades. (laughs) Oh, my God. (laughs) I mean, I, mean, I mean, thank you for being a friend. Come to you down the road, then back again. <laughs> ladies, ladies and gentlemen, hit us up, 503-776. I want to know which one of the golden girls you would bang. And yes, I said ladies and gentlemen. Don't don't fucking hold out like you've never thought of it, girls. Because I, 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 I definitely wasn't going for Dorothy. Yeah. <laughs> now, uh, now uh, what's your name? Uh, 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 the happy one. <laughs> he said the happy one. Yeah, uh, Rose, yeah. Back when she was young, yeah, yeah, but she she got a skill set too because motherfuckers be she be all talk. She, I seen her Saturday Night Live talking all this dirty shit. Oh, dear, yeah, yeah. I mean, well, when you, when you're that old, you don't give a fuck. Yeah, you're I just mean, like hell yeah. I mean, she's like I could read a script and suck a dick at the same yeah. time. <laughs> See, I was, did you get the part? No, I was. <laughs> oh, I, that was a joke. That was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna give you. I was gonna give you like a gimme when I brought this up, but. With the track record and the badassery going on, I wasn't about to invoke the name of Melania Trump because if you haven't seen Trump's new mugshot, short of some face tattoos, that could be his fucking EP album cover. Trump really came through on him. And you know, the, the, <laughs> you look at his mugshot and you're going, wow, that looks real fucking gangster. Dude, he's getting some street cred. And who they compare him to? Are they trying to compare They probably put him next to MLK. I don't think it's quite the fucking same. <laughs> Just saying. Listen, not yet. Hey, hey, not yet. Hey, cause M- because MLK had more hoes. <laughs> because at the time, MLK was, and I and I'm not I'm not comparing the situations, but he was about on the same level. They were trying to fucking throw him in prison forever. He was a fucking communist. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just saying yeah, they're, I mean, they're trying to do the same thing to Trump that they did to MLK. Stop him from. Doing what he's trying to do. He's like, oh, first you want to free the blacks, then you want to turn this motherfucker to Russia with all this Marxism and shit? Right. Nah, work. I mean, shit. Hey, preacher man, you living off fucking donations. Where did MLK work? <laughs> <laughs> Dude. You know, I heard this story. <clears throat> so you talk about Trump. Okay. You talk about Trump and somebody who's from Trump's era. Mike Tyson, right? Yeah. So we like we like Mike Tyson. Convicted rapist, Mike Tyson. We let, all... We- let, 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 me, let me append that. We fucking love Mike Tyson. We love the shit out of Mike Tyson. We love Tyson. Mike Tyson. Give Mike Tyson some fucking applause. We love the shit out of Mike Tyson. You know what him and Trump have in common? They both bought buildings and kicked everybody out. Mike Tyson <laughs> Mike Tyson had a fucking building in the Catskills. I just watched it. Uh, I was listening to uh, uh, crime, and, uh, crime and Sports. Okay. Mike Tyson got tired of his neighbors, so he bought the whole building and put everybody out. <laughs> That's the dopest thing I've ever heard. Hey, if I get enough money, my whole block is going to be clear. Watch out, fucking Barry. You know, Barry. I'll play my subwoofer as loud as I want to, Barry. But I am very impressed by this Trump thing because now I'm seeing young, nappy head, African American men. <laughs> They did like, that on purpose, fucker. They're like, go Trump. That motherfucker's gangster. Yeah. Let him run again. I'll vote for him. Motherfucker, you can't even spell vote. But now you're ready to vote for Donald Trump. <laughs> but dude, listen, man. There, there is a fucking... There are the rhythm and rhyme in history, okay? Every time they try and take down somebody who's trying to make a significant difference, good or bad, I don't give a fuck if you like him or not. <laughs> I don't think he was trying to make any difference. Trump? Yeah, I don't think he's trying to make a difference. Trump is trying to make a difference. What kind of difference? Whether good or bad, whether it's for his own personal gain or whatever, the fact that MLK, all these people, if you look at fucking, what's what's his name? His name fucking escapes me oh, right Gandhi? now. 
God, yeah, him too. Yeah, Gandhi used, no, to, uh, Gandhi used to like to sleep with his young cousins. I don't know. No, you no, Gandhi. I didn't mean Gandhi. I meant the fucking dude who put himself in jail for 20 years in Manila. Nelson Mandela? Nelson Mandela. All these people that are trying to make a difference. Nelson Mandela was a thug. They try, yeah, they try and fucking stifle them. Throughout history, that's what they do. The powers that be always try and stifle progress. Yeah. Now, it's not always good progress. Look at fucking Stalin and Genghis Khan. Like, it's not always good progress. But I he's just, doing something to rattle the fucking beehive. When I start seeing these young motherfuckers <laughs> in dreads show up at a fucking Trump rally, I'm like, damn. Right. Because the thing is, every time you see black people supporting Trump, everybody goes, what's wrong with you? Motherfucker, I live in America. That's what's wrong with me. I have a freedom <laughs> to fucking choose what I want to. Shit, Trump is better for me than a fucking Big Mac, and you don't got no problem with me eating one of those. <laughs> Shit. I well, mean, really, Trump is better for me, me than that gallon of fucking crown I got out there, but you don't got no problem with me buying that. I mean, a motherfucker helped me out to my goddamn car with that fucking thing of crown. Trump, he ain't did shit for me. I got a lot of money under Trump. Fuck that shit. Right. And and here's here's what I pay attention to. because And I, I'll reiterate this. I said it before the show even started. My mother is a diehard Trump hater because she watches the news and then fucking lies to me about it. Says, I don't fucking watch the news. I'm like, really? Where'd he get your weather? Uh, that's the only thing I watch the news for. You know how you know how often they do the weather? In between their rants about fucking politicians and murder, right? That's when well, they do the weather. Well, you, your mom's your mom's very fortunate. She was not at the White Sox game. What was that was that Sunday night? Oh, I don't know. Probably. I yeah, don't watch Sunday night. Yeah. So there was a, a a White Sox game in Chicago. Chicago, where we're just going to get set. Go, Chicago. Walk that's into all your, you got to say. Walk into your car, get your fucking shot. <laughs> <You're right. laughs> so. Two people were shot at a fucking White Sox game. Jesus Christ. They don't know where the bullet came from. They did not stop the wait, game. Wait, wait, wait. The bullets? I mean, if two uh, people were shot, they, I, I, I hope there was I, more than one bullet. I think one got hit and it got, got grazed. I think I don't know if there was they don't know if there was one or two. What the fuck? Yeah. And you know what? They it was the fourth inning. They said, fuck it, we'll play this motherfucker out. Wait, 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 wait. Hang on. Back up. Okay. I so, I, I don't remember them saying so the So take take me out to the ball game. That's seven, sit, that's seventh inning. So I'm sitting out here. Yeah. I know that was a pun. So I'm sitting at the ball <laughs> that was game. A pun to follow your pun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting there. I got my fucking popcorn and peanuts and shit. Probably, yeah. probably a a Fanta yeah. or whatever they have in Chicago. And Fanta's a Nazi drink, just so you know. <laughs> And we're in the middle of the crowd? Like, this was in the stands? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you got you got your cheap seats. You're, you're enjoying a dog. But no, uh, but dog. this was in the seats. This was in the seats. Not, like, out of the concession stand? No. No, what just the random, fuck? randomly two bitches get fucking popped. One's, like, a school teacher. Like, one, one, got, one got grazed, okay. did not want medical assistance, and the other one actually got hit. And they don't know where the bullet came from. They don't know where the bullet or bullets came from. And they said, you know, the only thing they changed that night was Tone Loke and Vanilla Ice were supposed to perform at the end of this fucking at the end of the fucking game, I do. Okay, time out. You're inundating me with too much information. It's <laughs> a lot going on. I, I, I still have questions. First of all, nobody heard the gunshot. No, I heard the gunshot. And I they, get, I get it. Baseball games can get pretty loud, but it's the White Sox. They okay? can't, they can't even fucking explain. It. Nobody goes to a goddamn baseball that's, game. That's what I'm saying. Like but, it's not but, that loud. Uh, but you know, them old bitches were there. It's a school teacher or some other old ho. They were there for Tom Loke and Vanilla Ice. They ain't gonna come to see the game. My, my second question is, who the fuck is gonna sit through a four hour baseball game and then watch a concert? That is a real question. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. Tone Loke and Vanilla Ice, I'd show up in the seventh inning to fucking catch the rest of the game and watch Tone Loke and Vanilla Ice. I ain't sitting through nine motherfucking innings and then watching those cats. Let me tell you, I'm just like a good wife. It's only going to be about 20 minutes. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. Do what you got to do. <laughs> me, personally, I prefer three minutes and still time to cuddle. Ice, ice, baby. Too just cold. saying. Too cold. What? Too cold. Too yeah, cold. too cold. <laughs> <laughs> you, sounded, you sounded like you were a bird. To go, to go, to go, to go, to go, to play, to play, to play, to play, to play, to play. Man, I had to tell a young motherfucker about Corinthian leather. You know about Corinthian leather, don't you? Uh, rich Corinthian leather. <laughs> Ricardo Montalban and rich Corinthian leather. I would like to let I like to let you know if you I mean if you are a connoisseur of leather and leather products. Bitch, I got Nikes made of Corinthian leather. There you go. You anyway. are so full of shit. Yeah, and I have a dick made of Italian suede. Yeah. I, no, I, no, that doesn't do it. Okay. 
I thought I was going to get a round of applause for that, but oh, yeah, right. you go. yeah, all right. And you know, and you want to see what happens when it gets hard. It's like sandpaper. I, I stop the conversation at hard. <laughs> I stop the conversation when it gets too hard. How about a little hard is way too much. <laughs> what, I mean, half is, mast? Is the band bun coming back? Me- I, medium flaccid? Am I, am I in danger right now? <laughs> Unless we get the fuck out of here. Yes, you are, because I got some testosterone. I got to go alleviate at the gym. Yes, bitch, the gym. So I think you should stay out of Chicago. Dude, everybody should stay out of Chicago. My, they can get, everybody. Stay out of this gym. If, they, if they're going to stop a press conference with the fucking interim police commander or whatever the fuck it is and not let them talk about who shot it, you know who shot him? A fucking cop. A cop accidentally discharged was it, it Was it Lee Harvey Oswald? From the grassy knoll in Dallas. You know, what's his name? Uh, John Hinckley, the dude who shot uh, President Reagan? Yeah. He has a YouTube channel where he sings songs. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> no, like shit. You are going to fucking prove this next week on the show. I'll prove it. I want to fucking see this channel. shit. YouTube channel. They let his ass out. He get on YouTube and say, hey, I'm sorry. You think they would ban a motherfucker for ever touching that shit? Hey, but this shit came I'll bet out. you they even allow him to vote. Oh, best news this week? New Atari 2600 is coming out. What the fuck? Was there an old Atari 2600? The original. Was it a 2600? Yeah. Atari. Then why isn't this 2601? It's what the tw- fuck are we doing, it's Atari? The, it's a 2600 plus. Oh, God. Like, so it, Like LGBTQ plus? I don't know about that. Man, that shit is gay. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Hype Podcast. I'm the host of No Name. My name is Oh So Fresh. I was just pushing the button. I would like to let you know that if you go to a baseball game and get shot, I wouldn't continue that path. I mean, because there is nothing. There's, they play 164 fucking games, so the chance of you even being at a significant game, and they, the, the press conference for this shit was six minutes. And to this day, it's an unsolved mystery how you are in a field filled with 25,000 people, get shot, and nobody saw anything. That's Chicago for you. And I want you to keep it real, be real, love yourself, and don't touch yourself while you're watching the show. It's the Hype Podcast. Fuck it. We'll do it live. He's right, you know. <laughs>